Oh, taking a little break here. Uh, I'm going to get over there and take care of the cultivation of our last farm or field, excuse me. <clears throat> Make sure everything's working here today. Okay. Well, welcome back to uh, my Tennessee farm here in No Man's Land. We're going to go cultivate over at Millstone. Uh, here we go. Get this done before the sun goes down. Then we're going to sleep through the night. We're going to hopefully start some mowing. Maybe have some fields to be harvested. We'll see when we wake up in the morning. Let's go ahead and get this. Excuse me. I think in the morning we'll sow this field in canola that we're cultivating right now. And then in one of the fields, maybe the smaller field, we're going to throw in a cover crop. We have a big wheat field we need to uh, harvest in the morning, if, it's not, if not earlier. And we need to, we want to leave the straw swaths and turn those into pellets. So we're going to get into some pellet manufacturing too, before too long. We have to get the silage out of our bunker So for the next silage har harvest that we're going to do, which is coming up pretty soon. I need to run the store and get the uh, milling machine for that. I usually use the milling machine now. Normally I would run a conveyor belt set up, but I'm going to use the milling machine and see how that works out. Hopefully we'll be all right. Hopefully we won't have any problems with that bunker. Sometimes I have problems with that problems with that bunker silo, bunker silo where it uh, some of the chaff gets frozen up or the silage gets frozen up in the back end. This depends on how close it's to a tree or to another collision. Ah, I missed the spot. I'll get that in a minute. It's no big deal. I think also in the morning what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look into purchasing some pigs for the farm. Get them going too. So that's going to be another little thing I'm going to do. Think about starting a new Let's Play series where it's videotaped or videoed, but I'm trying to figure out what's a good map to do seasons on. And if you're out there and you watch, you're watching, or if you watch this later when it's uploaded, feel free to comment and let me know what you think's a good map to do uh, 
run seasons on. I want something that's going to have animal pens on it. Uh, at least three or four marketing places, at the very least. And maybe some land that I can develop into, like expand the farm, maybe have a sub farm going. Something similar to this. So if you can think of a map or have an idea for a good map and you've got your plan seasons on a map, let me know which one would be a good one to, to do because I've looked through two or three of them and I wasn't impressed. I just got through coming off of one of them, oh, I'd say probably about 15 minutes ago. And I wasn't really impressed with it. It's, it listed animals, it listed three different, you know, main farm and two separate farms, and I didn't see the two separate farms. Uh, some of the detailing was beautiful, low slot count. That's another thing I'm looking for, moderate slot count. This one had a, like 438 slots already used. Nice buildings, but I couldn't find a place to, like a ATM. Couldn't find a gas station. Didn't see like a little store with an ATM out in front of it. I uh, went inside the, the main shop area and grass was inside the main shop area and found a building that looked like it was a storage shed and doors wouldn't open it wasn't a storage shed it, it looked like a house I walked inside there's grass inside on the floor it's like you know detailed but yet, yet unfinished seasons ready low slot count but I couldn't you know only thing I could find, find was on the main farm that was the chickens couldn't find anything else and I'm like where are the other animal pens they, they, they didn't show and I'm like where you know what am I going to have to do buy a flat field burn it and turn it into a you know animal pen area and, and it's like you know you know how hard that is to do that takes money especially when the fields are costing around 180,000 to 300,000 a field I mean the BGA alone was 328 which is kind of a little outrageous for the size of that BGA Let's see, I want to jump into, I think, I'm going to jump into the old warrior here. We'll disconnect from our planner, and we're going to, our cedar, and we're going to go to the shop, and pick up the milling machine, and bring it back. So that's one of the jobs I'm going to have to get done in the morning. We're losing daylight big time. Old Jojo the Wonder Dog has woke up. You can hear him tinkling around with his collar. We're continuing off our last stream. It's getting dark and we kind of stopped our 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 stream with the last seating. Go in here and make a purchase of the mill machine. Scroll through the old catalog, <clears throat> and there it is. Let's see. Let's make it white. Make that yellow. Now we got our tool to that we can use to get the silage out of the bunker. An overhead view here, I can see you better. 
I like the tinted windows, but they don't let you see too good, especially when the sun's going down. So we'll get this back to the house. Hopefully our worker will be done with the cultivation of that field. Check on our sheep or at it. See if they need to be cleaned. I'm pretty sure they're going to need water. So I think we're going to get some water for them. I don't know if they need grass. We'll check on that here in a second. And I'm going to see if there's any bales that need to be moved out of the way. There's a couple of ones there we can move. Let's see, let's put our I want to change the tires on this thing from bills to with weights. As much as I like the bill tires, the twins. change that around. First we'll repair it and then we'll customize it. There we go. See if we can sneak by the old John Deere without hitting it. Yeah, they need to be cleaned. They're a mess. Let's see if they need any water. I don't know if I can't remember if I got any water this left in this trailer or not. Let's see how they're set with food. Oh, they're all right. They're all right. Okay, that's no problem. That's good. Let's go up here and get this trailer. Then we gotta go get our tractor in our cultivator and bring it back. I think he's probably done by now.
there's one thing off the list of things to do. Check on something. Yeah, I think I don't know if I'm gonna use this field. This may be turned into. I'm gonna probably bring in a bale shed so we can put our hay bales in or straw bales in. <coughs> That's a good possibility. Let's go find our uh, T8 and cultivator. Check our field, make sure it's cultivated. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the morning, we will definitely come over here and seed this in canola. We've got a couple other fields we want to see. And we got to think on looking into getting a pressure washer too. I mean, these tractors are getting dirty. Mm -mm -mm. Normally, I don't want to wash a tractor, but you just can't start. You can't start. You know, looking through a clear window, you see them in the mud. It's kind of hard to. So yeah, I'm gonna look into that. I think what we're going to do that we got the fields cultivated and we got the fields that we want to plant planted and sown. We're going to uh, continue on with our grass mowing and collecting. need to get this tree gone get it cut down because I want this to be a, like a drive through shed I still don't know if our forage harvester is going to be able to fit under it there or not we'll have to find out it's trial and error and you fin we finish mowing the hill to see where we mowed it previously and the grass is starting to grow back let's get up here and finish filling this thing up I'm going to do as much grass as I can before it gets too dark That's another thing we're also probably going to do besides just the solid harvest from corn. We're also going to 
turn some grass chaff into silage as well. We're going to just load up those silos, load up that bucket. We're going to have those silos packed and we're going to have that hopefully one day just have, to have those silos packed and have that, that, that bunker packed too. That way we're on the ball when it comes to feeding cows and keeping them happy and healthy. Eventually that little old John Deere that's been cleaning the sheep will get more you'll get more running time on it and more use because it's going to be bouncing back between all the animals cleaning them up. We have a little while yet before we can go to sleep so we can go ahead and burn some of that time off. We're almost there. We almost got a full load of grass here ready to go into our silo. Okay, we're full. Okay, never mind. Back this up. Turn it loose. Let's turn it off right there. Leave the lights on. Let's see, where is our truck? I think it's up over here over the, over the hill, I think. sack and go to bed. from the harvester I couldn't see in that mirror. So now we're going to save our repairs. Chat's not working so I just now noticed you. That's okay. It's no problem. I don't know why you didn't get the notification but that's okay. That's no problem.
sure we're going to clear that pipe. Yep. While that's dumping out, I'm going to get me a little sip of water. The throat's getting raspy. grass we're getting. It's slowly filling up. It's going to take a while to get it full, but that's all. We got plenty of time, we got plenty of grass growing wild grass growing around. We got our hay fields planted. That those can come in handy too. notification didn't come through for you. I'm sorry. Well, wait a minute now. We ain't close enough for you to start blowing what your store will get. There you go. I think we may have just dropped the No, okay. All right, no worries. <coughs> Excuse me. Just mowing some grass until we can go to bed. We've got the fields cultivated. Everything has been repurposed. What needs to be planted has been planted. So we're going to do this until it's time to sleep. We're going to sleep through the morning, and in the morning we're going to get up. And I think we're going to we're going to put the canola in that field of yours, and then we're going to put the cover crop in another field. Maybe looking into buying some pigs, and if there's any harvesting to be done, we'll be doing some harvesting. And so we'll probably be doing that wheat field that I got planted. That's going to be harvested and straw swathed and turned into pellets. Some of which we're going to store and some of which we're going to sell. We're going to see how that straw pellet factory works itself out. I'm going to dump some there in one of those bins, one of those bunkers. 
and then I want to use a little crane and bucket and see how that thing works. I've been trying to think of a map to do seasons on. I checked one out earlier I w and it read good, but when I got on it, I was kind of sorely disappointed. It said, you know, oh, it's going to animals. Well, I couldn't. I found the chickens, and that's about it. Oh, well, there's one main farm and two other farms. I couldn't find the other two other farms where you could develop those or anything like that. And detailing of the builds is fine. Slot count was moderate. It's like 438. Nice little map, but sheesh. Inside some of those builds and like the main shop area where you buy your equipment. You know, the grass on the floor you know, wasn't all concreted. And I'm like, you know, outside detail, fine. Inside detail, mm-mm. Found one building, there's grass growing inside the building. It's like that map needs to be tweaked. Just a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out a map to do a Let's Play series on that I can do seasons, has a moderate slot count, and I can. You know, I don't mind struggling, but I want to be able to make some kind of money so I don't fall flat and fall short. And if I have to borrow money in order to get equipment purchased, that kind of thing, I want something that's going to have ammo pins on it. I don't care if i got to drive half the way across the map to do one animal or the other, and then drive the other half to do the, the you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so, if you or anybody out there can figure out a good map to do seasons on, I want to use medium to small equipment, and that's about all I want to go go with. I don't mind if the fields are oddly shaped. I don't mind if they're smaller to medium, you know, that kind of thing. Buffering. You, uh, it's not me. I don't know about you. I'm, do, I'm still up and running. Looking at the laptop, it looks like it's okay. As far as I can see, the stream is doing all right. What's that here? Oh, okay. few instances when it's done on my end. Okay. Stuck on that tree. Mm, come on. 
on for something that's got 800 horsepower. You sure you stink. Alright. We'll come out this way. Grab the old truck here. I'll move it this. Solve that little problem. I figured I got too close to that tree, so that's <clears throat> my fault for getting a little too close. I was worried about getting snagged, and I knew I probably would somewhere along the line. I'm just glad I was snagged right where the truck is, and I didn't have to run all the way down here to get the truck to come up and undo what I did. That's a good thing. But now that we have our first pass run through, <clears throat> we know where we can go and where we can't go. this loaded up and then we'll see if we can't sleep <clears throat> through the night and come into our next day and get our next day started. fill this up and I think what I want to do is I'm just going to fill it almost to full and then we'll take it put it in our silo and we'll put this forage harvester up. I want to try that new shed out and see if this will <coughs> allow this shed, this old thing to park under that shed without taking the roof off or taking the top of this harvester off because that's why I placed it there. I wanted to shed the some place to park this separate away from everything else and if that if it will then I will move the uh, forester, forager cutter the one that cuts the corn and stuff and chaps corn over there too with it looks like we're getting close slowly filling that main silo up so that's a good thing with the grass and I think we're just going to be right with a little over 200,000 liters in there but I want to eventually get the rest of it stuffed in there 
need all the grass we can, need all the hay we can get. We want to be really prepared when we start doing our cows. here and turn around. Come look at that a little more straighter. Did you? Well that's good. Got it all anchored up. <clears throat> I think right about here is where we're going to stop. We're going to get close to 70. We're not going to get all the way full. I don't want to have that, any uh, grass left in the harvester. So let's get closer. Just a little bit closer. A little bit closer. And we'll stop right there. Drop our pipe. Whoa, what the heck happened there? Come on now. Must be getting some dew on the grass. Drop that off. Let's take this over to our shed. Well, she didn't show me, so she, she may not. I don't know if she's noticed or not. She may. She may have. When you when you sent it to her this morning, or did you send it to her a few minutes ago or so? Because she's not here in the house. She's out running some errands. Okay, I will. Oh yeah, this is gonna fit right underneath this shit. Good, that's good. I'll get this stuff moving with the tractor here in a minute. I'm gonna run back up here and grab the truck. That stuff's probably in my way, so I'm gonna have to move it when I come back with the semi. Yeah, I gotta figure out a good map of seasons. I'm having a hard time. I don't know when Sandy Bay's coming out, and I don't know when or if Valley the Old Farm's coming out. And those are maps I can thrive on seasons wise. I know I can't because I've done them before on 17. And all these other little maps, I mean, I saw some nice detailed ones, but I downloaded two different maps and looked at them, and I'm like, yeah. One was okay, the other was a little bit better, but like I said, it didn't. <clears throat> it describes in the description there's three farms one that's already developed, and, one, and two others that you can develop yourself, and I didn't see those. Nor did I see any other animal pens, which kind of irked me when it says, hey, it's got animals in the 
chickens to me doesn't qualify as animals. The only thing a chicken to me is good for is eggs and KFC. Be wet. What are you doing? You want doing laundry? Or are you going swimming? <laughs> stuff around here. Cut to the forest because I'm going to get this lined up. I'm going to get rid of that. Yep, I'm going to get rid of that tree or maybe two, tre <coughs> two trees. Excuse me. <coughs> to do what I want. I'll put that right here. this It's going to be under our shelter. And then later, what we'll do is we'll move the uh, cutter over here. And that's going to be our little forage harvester shed. sleep here pretty soon. I still can't figure that out. He says, well, he's going to be here, but his hands are going to be wet. He's either washing clothes, washing dishes, or taking a swim or a shower. It's got to be one of those. Which one? I couldn't tell you. That's farm bears for you. He's full of surprises. And I'm going to change the wind's shield on this tractor so I can see better at night uh, like I said I like the tent but at night time it becomes kind of ridiculous not ridiculous ridiculous alright sheeps and I'm thinking that's what I'm going to probably do I think this little small field right here in front of the house 
dishes. <laughs> I think this little small field in front of the house. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the a bell storage shed. I got a small field over here behind the pigs that I can do, use for like sugar beets and potatoes. Because I was thinking about the same thing with this, but I'm like, okay, yeah. Maybe put something else in here too. I mean, there's plenty of room for that shed. And maybe something else. I'm not for sure. Let's look and see how much that thing is. It's under storage. Sheds. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room there. I don't want it to be where I'm going to run into the rocks. I'm going to come back if I do it right about here someplace. I just have to place it. I don't want room where I can bring a truck in without getting killed either. Or one of those trailers that have a 360. Boink. Where we're gonna put our bells. And what we'll do here, I don't know. We can put something else right here if we wanted to. May just leave that for right now because we may. I don't. I said, won't keep the small house for right now. Maybe the bigger, later on, build a bigger house. Something nice, but I want to have the room. I might put the house over here someplace, maybe. Who knows? Get some indoor plumbing because I'm getting kind of tired of using the outhouse. I grew up using outhouses with some of my relatives, it's not fun. walk into the outhouse and boom there's a snake sitting there, sitting there wait, waiting to say hi let's see can we sleep yet oh okay let's see what time is it now it's well, a little after seven let's go ahead and sleep two Three, four, five, six. There we go. That way, that way we, have, we have sunshine. We don't because it's very dim here on, at seven, seven o'clock in the morning. Great. Didn't say what they had a great demand for. Is that oats? Huh. Well, I don't have any oats. What you know it. All right. Let's take a look at our map. See if things getting close. Yeah, buddy, I love that. Playing the field at the same time, one stripe pops up faster than the other. I don't understand. I didn't take a pause, so I don't understand. I don't get that. Uh, okay, let's see. But growth again. Oh, we got a corn. All right, <clears throat> we'll figure out this. What we're going to do with this land here, as far as the landscape, it'll sow grass in or what? Who knows? Let's uh, let's go ahead and put this trailer up. time being 
I'm going to run down to the store and get an animal transport trailer. And I'm going to bring back some pigs. Another thing, I'm going to park in that bell shed. What? Well, there's not many bells, so I think I'll park this truck since there's not that much room in that shed once you park that trailer. Let's start out with 50 pigs. I think. I think we can afford that. I think we have enough crops that we're going to feed them. I like to get a small little all-around trailer from around the farm. That way, I can feed them and not have to worry about yanking out that big Joskin. That thing's kind of cumbersome when it comes to feeding, but it might, right now we'll use the Joskin. We'll get them fed quicker. I guess I need to get some oats in the ground because one of these days we're going to come up with another great demand for oats and I'm not going to have any. There's oats over at Millstone, but those, that's for feeding horses. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Animal transport. I like this one by Art Mechanic. Let's see. How many pigs does it take? That should be enough to take what I need. I'll just leave it as it is. Do I want to paint it? That's just the wheels get painted, right? Nah. There's no sense of painting the wheels. It's just... Let's get back out again and let's do this. Lease. And we'll go over here. We'll go back up to it. The cup. Back it straight up to our uh, animal dealer and grab her pigs. Should be 50. And the money has gone down. These little piggies came from market. These little piggies are now going home. These piggies aren't going to have roast beef. And that's for sure. <laughs> roast beef is too much money.
trigger gun. You gotta be kidding me. This is not gonna trigger with this trailer. No, don't tell me that. Let me turn my window. I don't know why I'm not getting the. Unload trigger on this. That's fun. I don't understand why this is not. Doing what it's supposed to be doing. Don't tell me I'm going to sell these pigs back. Well, come on now. What am I going to do? What? I don't know. Uh oh. You gotta be kidding me. I thought this was a buy sell point. Am I wrong? I thought, I'm not even getting a trigger right here on this. Uh oh, boys and girls, we're in trouble. I cannot figure out for the life of me what's going on. I guess we're going to have to do it the hard way. I mean, it's not triggering for me, it's not triggering for that. Why isn't that thing triggering? I'm stepping on it and nothing. I mean, I'm getting some... Well, let's see if that works. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I had something pop right there. What popped? Open me. Okay. Oh, this is finicky. Hmm. When I go to open it, it doesn't open. What in the world is going on here? I cannot for a while for me figure it out. I'm getting the trigger. But when I go to press the trigger, <coughs> open the old dialogue, it won't open up. I don't get this. Is this trailer... I've got pigs in there, so what the world? I guess we're going back to the store. We're going to sell these pigs. We're going to figure out what's going on. Try another trailer. Probably going to, have to use a smaller one. I don't know what's going on. Well, that's kind of frustrating. Well, if anybody can out there tell me what's going on with that thing, let me know. I don't know. I mean, I was getting the dialogue box. Normally I do get the dialogue box, but I don't understand why it's not working now. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to sell these pigs off. 
I'll take another chance of, of hauling them down there and another trailer. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know. I, could, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to move the pin someplace else. Because it's colliding, like having a collision kind of deal or something. I don't know. So let's get rid of this and try again. That was a bust. Now I was getting the I'm getting the dialogue box here now, and it's not working. What is it? Is it this trailer, or is it this map? There's the dialogue box. Click. I click down on nothing. I mean, I bought the pigs. What happened? Yeah, but now I can I, Now I got 50 pigs in the trailer that I've paid money for, and if I sell the trailer off, <laughs> I'm out the money. I mean, the trigger is triggering. I don't understand it. And this is working on other, on gym, on other maps of gems and other people's maps. Why it won't work on this map? Yep. Well, I want to figure that out. Well, I guess with that being said, we're not going to be. I was going to do pigs. I was going to get the silage out. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't lose a load of money right there. I don't. I don't get this. I was allowed to buy the pigs. But I can't unload them. Back at the store or at my own home place. Let me oh, go over here and check something out. I was having problems over here too. Just by myself without the truck being in there. Let's see what happens. What's that you see? Yeah, I may have to hit file the insurance claim on that sucker. Take a, a loan right, right now and try again. See, I'm not even getting a dialogue box stepping on it here with my, my own. And it can't just be the trailer. It's got to be the, the map. So I'm going to have to get out of this map, come back in and see if it works. I don't know. And I was going to do solid today and try to get some harvesting done, but I, I guess we'll have to do that in a, in another time, day and time. This thing's not working. Oh, Lord, we didn't get much done. I was hoping to. I guess we're going to have to call this a stream because I, until them crops come due, you know, in between doing pigs and doing the silage and everything, I, I figured, eh, we got some time before that field of wheat's ready to go. At least about another hour. I thought, like, well, maybe. But, uh, yeah, that's, it, it could be the style. I, I may have to sell it off and, re and, and retry again. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I mean, the sheep worked. That's what kills me. And I'm far enough away from these trees, there should be no collision conflict. Far appears, I can't figure it out. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is we have to call this a stream. And like I say to everybody out there, if you enjoyed what you saw, give me a like. If you're out there and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that old subscribe button for me. 
you want to leave a comment feel free like I said I'm looking for a farm or map to do seasons on moderate slot count with animals on it small to medium equipment that kind of thing I will I, you know I want to be able to replace the main silo if I can because I don't like those silos they put on there I don't like to have them be able to put a new silo in if I can and sell it off so it's gonna have to have a sellable silo but uh, and if you want to share this stream after it uploads by all means please be my guest I hope you all have a safe evening. I look forward to the next stream. And as always, friends and neighbors, happy farming. We'll see you another day.